discipline in health and fitness. This is the most common place where young men can use discipline to improve their lives. Go to the gym and eat right, eat clean, even when you don't feel like it. It is really going to the gym and hitting workouts that is usually most young men's like first taste of discipline. It's first taste of feeling like quite masculine and, you know, doing something even though you don't feel like it, doing it even though it's hard, doing it especially because it is hard. And there's four major benefits to being disciplined when it comes to fitness. Number one, it's the concept of hard times create strong men. You've probably heard of the cycle before. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. Wherever we are in the cycle right now, I mean, I think we know where we are. The hard times are pretty much here for a lot of countries and it will get worse and worse. Like we're talking potentially decades of like the dark ages. On the other hand, there might actually be the biggest sort of resurrection of good times as fast as possible that we've ever seen in history because of technology, because of AI. Like who knows where it's gonna go right now. It does seem to be the case that we are like entering the hard times, which means that if you are a strong man, you will be able to ride this wave that we're going through but weak men won't. Weak men are succumbing every single day to more of these addictions, whereas some men are getting stronger even though the times are getting harder. It's hard right now, like for example, I live in the UK. It's hard for an average man to be able to feed his family because of the cost of living crisis that, you know, he's not making much money. The weak men will just kind of struggle with that and just keep struggling and complaining and ask for handouts. The strong man will figure out extra ways that he can make money and become more capable. It's how you use the situation around you. And going to the gym, interestingly, will help you with this. It will develop you into a strong man because you're putting yourself through hard times. Now, I've got to make a disclaimer. A lot of guys will not get this benefit because for a lot of people, including like fitness influencers and everything, they're too, they're too relaxed. They're too easy. Like, you know, their, their workout routine, their, their diet. When you, I see like every now and then I'll see a video from a fitness influencer and he's having like 200 grams of sugar a day. He's eating like protein pancakes and he's put little like fucking um, chocolate spread over it or something. Like, is this the level of discipline we've got it to? This is, this is the pinnacle of health is these fitness YouTubers who are literally showing you like, oh, look, look at me, I'm having a snack. I'm having loads of sugar and stuff like, bro, like I said before, 100%, if you want to go out for like a nice treat every now and then, 100%, I love to do that as well. So, you know, I'm not, I don't have like a 100% perfect diet. This is the pinnacle of health these days. This is like fitness influences. 20 years ago, it was, you know, okay, way out. The white rice, the broccoli, the chicken, maybe a little bit too extreme. And now it's these guys who are like doing 10,000 calorie challenges because all the, the disgusting people just watch that content. It should still feel hard today. If you really want to level up, if you really want to get stronger, it should be relatively hard. Like, like I'm speaking directly to the guys who've been training for years now. Remember when you first started in the gym and how fucking hard it was? Remember how sore your muscles got in that first ever like arm workout that you did? You know, the first time that you did a bunch of bicep curls and the next day you couldn't even straighten your arm and you felt the same way about your hamstrings and everything, right? That was a hard workout. That built you strong. These days we do a full workout and afterwards we could work out again. Because even though our workout is like, you know, harder than it was before, our capabilities have risen. So we're no longer even in that level where we're challenging ourselves and becoming stronger. The same with dieting. Remember the first time that you started to diet and you, the first time you really made some progress in dieting, how like hard it kind of felt. Remember how much you used to think about this concept of eating less calories and eating cleaner and it would like literally almost feel like a full-time job. And these days it might feel like way easier. You're just used to it. That means that sure, you're rinsing out the current benefits, but you're not growing anymore. You're not getting any stronger right now. Maybe you don't need to. Maybe you're already a super strong man. Chances are you're probably not because I'm not. I've still got a lot, like a long way to go. And if you're sat here like learning from me and I'm telling you as your teacher that I've got a long way to go, I think you should slap your ego and think, you know what? I probably do as well. So your diet and your training should feel hard today. I know that I'm doing this right when I'm in the gym and I really want to go home, but I have to like really like fight to stay there. Whereas I've had a lot of workouts over the last few years where I've just kind of, you know, I've just done it. Yeah, it's hard. You know, when you're pressing the weight and you're close to failure, it feels hard. But all in all, it doesn't like, it's not 10 out of 10 difficult. It's kind of like fun going to the gym. 
But these days recently, just very recently, only for a few days, I've literally been in the gym and been like exhausted and tired. And it really reminds me of when I first used to go to the gym when like you couldn't wait to almost like leave. Like it was fun, but it was super tiring. And the same with my diet. I had to restrict it to the next level now that now it feels like like kind of like how it was when I was a beginner and I can see the progress that I'm making. It's like I keep feeling this weird blissful feeling, which is like I can genuinely understand the concept of potential of self-mastery because most people's fitness journey and you know the journey to be disciplined looks like this like that like it starts and they get you know loads of progress they're being really disciplined but then out of nowhere it just starts to level off and they just kind of stay comfortable here even the guys who consistently go to the gym if you've been going to the gym for a few years i guarantee you've been pussying out Guarantee that even though the gym, like you've been going consistently and the gym feels kind of hard, guarantee that you're not like progressively overloading, not just set by set, but just kind of workout and month by month of like, you know, restricting your diet more, getting bit, a little bit more extreme in your training. And people can say, oh, well, you know, this is, you know, restrictive diets don't work and stuff. Yeah, for pussies, of course they don't. For shallow breathers, of course they don't. But for superior men, men who want to become strong, this is the trajectory. It's like every single month, you slightly increase the level of discipline that you need for your activities. Most guys stopped one year into going to the gym and they just kind of like maintain that level. You know, if you've been finding that you're not making as much gains recently and we all blame it on like, yeah, you know, it's noob gains. You make a lot of mu muscle when you first start and you don't make much after that. Maybe, but maybe you've just been pussying out. Maybe you're not putting in the same level of discipline relative to when you first started. Because I remember when I first started and I found it incredibly difficult to diet and to train. And then for years, it was way easier because my skill level had went up, but I wasn't challenging myself anymore. So if you want like a little idea, for example, start adding in some cardio. Maybe you already do some. Go and track your cardio and do a hundred calories every single day for the rest of your life. And every time you get onto your favorite cardio machine to hit hundred calories, try and beat your score from last time, like your, your time, for example. So you, you really like the, the treadmill, for example, and it takes you 10 minutes to hit a hundred calories today. Tomorrow you go into the gym and you try and get it in nine minutes and 30 seconds. Then the next day you try and get it in nine minutes. Then randomly, the ne you know, one day later, you end up getting it in like seven minutes. And it's like, whoa, that's really good. Then the next day it's like eight minutes and you're really trying to beat the seven minute again. But, you know, that was quite lucky. So you, you think to yourself, okay, I'm going to be, you know, progressively overloading. I'm going to be smart. Let's try and get it on average, like eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes, then 7.50. And you, you start playing this game. And now this is like an extra level of challenge. You're there sometimes in the gym feeling like, oh, I don't want to do the 100 calorie thing. It's stupid. Hamza was just, you know, saying it lightly. I don't want to do it. That's exactly how we felt when we started going to the gym. You wake up the next day and your legs are sore and you've got that like pain, heavy feeling in your Achilles tendons and your calves. That's exactly how it felt when we first started training. Now you're like being as disciplined as you was back then relatively and you're becoming stronger. The second benefit of being disciplined in fitness is the physical and mental health. That's gonna translate over to better work, relationships, happiness, and love. And the third benefit of being disciplined in fitness, of course, is getting into shape. Tristan Tate was on a podcast that I watched a little while ago and he was asked what's like the number one tip to look better in a suit. And he ended up saying it was just get into shape. It wasn't actually about the suit or the tailor or the style. If you're in shape, you look good in clothes or without clothes. Finally, the fourth benefit to being disciplined in fitness, eventually it becomes fun. If you keep going and you have this playful mindset, almost like you're playing a game, you're trying to beat your high score and you're trying to, you know, get the high score for the bench press. You're trying to get the high score for how fast you can burn hundred calories. That will soon turn into you genuinely just enjoying each and every gym session. And it becomes such a beautiful, enjoyable, and, and important part of your life. A lot of the guys who have been going to the gym for a while will know this. It really integrates into your personality and you start to love being an athlete. Like it adds to your self image that you are this healthy person who's able to delay gratification, who's able to you know think for the future, who's able to enjoy the hard work, the exercise, the sweat, the discomfort, the pain, the sacrifice right now. And I think that's beautiful. I think it adds a lot of flavor to your life.